function round for rounding a number. So if we pass 2.9 here and print the result, we will get three. We have another useful built-in function called ABS, which returns the absolute value of a number. So if we pass negative 2.9 here, we'll get positive 2.9. Now technically we have only a handful of built-in functions to work with numbers. If you want to write a program that involves complex mathematical calculations, you need to use the math module. A module is like a separate file with some Python code. So in Python, we have this math module, which includes lots of mathematical functions for working with numbers. But we need to import this module so we can use it. On the top, we type import math. Now math in this program is an object, so we can use the dot notation to see all the functions or more accurately, all the methods available in this object. As an example, we have math.seal for getting the ceiling of a number. So if we pass 2.2 here and run this program, we get three. Now in this math module, we have lots of functions. Let me show you how to find the complete list. Here on Google, search for Python 3. Make sure to add the version number, math module. On this page, you can see all the functions in the math module. So in this lecture, we looked at math.seal. We also have math.copysign, fabs, and so on. As an exercise, I encourage you to play with a couple of functions in this module. 